What is up, people? We got lots to talk about today, but first, we ride. What's up, my dudes and dudettes? Darren D here. Welcome back to another exciting scoot adventure. Today, we are going to be talking about maintenance routines and the little things that you can do to help keep your scooter on the road and that can save your scooter if you have a breakdown while you're out on a ride. I'm going to be showing you some tools and different products that I use uh, throughout this video. There'll be links to everything below in the description. Just be aware that these are affiliate links. We're just cruising along at a leisurely 24 miles an hour. We're on the High Boy Titan Pro. Let's just ride and enjoy it. What do you say? Just got hit in the leg with a large flying insect. Something just hit me that was big enough to hurt. That was one hell of a bug, whatever it was. Man, I think we got a flat. I do not have a flat, but we definitely have something else worth talking about. This is a video about doing maintenance on the scooter. We do have something to talk about. You know, I don't know if I would consider this very convenient or very inconvenient, but considering we're gonna be doing uh, some talking about scooter maintenance today, it's uh, just a dumb luck situation that we've got a little bit of a maintenance issue that needs to be addressed right now. Like I was saying before, a few turns of an Allen wrench can be the difference between you having the best day of your life on your scooter or it breaking down and suffering what uh, they call in the industry a catastrophic failure, which typically means a wheel fell off and you fell off and your head and body were separated from each other and then there's a lot of insurance liability issues. But trust me when I tell you that a five minute maintenance routine before you ride and a five minute maintenance routine after you ride will save you a ton of those troubles. So let's take a look at the scooter up close and personal and see some of the things that you need to keep your eye on. So there's the High Boy Titan Pro in all its glory. Let's take a look right around the front here. See this circular doohickey right here? So this is High Boy's system for folding the scooter in half. This piece right here screws on and off and then you can fold the stem down or you can fold it back up and then lock it into place with this thing. Right now it's very, very tight, which is good. Usually this comes a little bit loose after each and every ride. And you can tell that it's come a little bit loose when you start hearing creaks in the uh, stem. So just checking this right here Making sure it's as tight as it can go before and after every ride will save you a lot of headaches. Got a little grommet there where the wires are feeding through. That's popping out a bit. I'll have to take a look at that when I get home. So this is important. Check this before and after every ride. Now take a look. Here, 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 here. Your scooter is held together by screws. Screws do a really good job of keeping things together. However, they also have a tendency to vibrate themselves loose. Vibrations are the enemy of screws. As you are riding and you are applying pressure to the screws with your body, with your feet, the road, bumps that you're hitting, etc., those screws are gonna start to rattle loose. So it is absolutely essential to carry one thing with you at all times. Carrying two sizes of Allen wrench with you is all you will need to make sure your High Boy Titan Pro stays together and you don't suffer one of those catastrophic failures. Just take your Number four, Allen wrench here. And just give each and every screw a quick test. Oh, look at that. It's turning. Look at how much that one's turning. Now I just checked these after the last time I rode. But look, vibration pressure, the enemy of a screw. Now I know what you're thinking. 
Why don't you just put some Loctite on those screws and then they won't come loose anymore? That's actually a, a falsehood. Screws that have Loctite on them definitely will still come loose over time. Maybe not as frequently, maybe not as dramatically, but they will still come loose. And you still need to check them and you still need to tighten them. I think that Loctite gives people a, a false sense of security, right? Like, I don't have to worry about this because I put Loctite on my screws, so therefore they won't come loose. Wrong. On the High Boy Titan Pro, in particular, there are a number of screws that are very difficult to reach. And I think this is the case with every scooter. You know, so those are the ones you really gotta pay attention to. Because if it's hard to get to, you're gonna be like, eh, I don't need to check it. And that's gonna be the one that comes loose on you. What I was specifically referring to a few minutes ago was my back fender. My back fender is actually very loose. I didn't realize that, but when I had repaired my tire the other day, apparently I didn't screw it back in tight enough. Ugh, bugs. Oh, these are a different size. If you notice here, the screws for the, the fender are actually a different size. Now, before I was saying, carrying these two allen keys around with you is enough another tool that i always carry with me in fact i never leave the house without it is a good multi-tool now this particular one is a gerber this one was issued to me when i was in the army i've had it ever since so it's very very old once you start carrying it around with you all the time you'll be like how did i ever get by without this so without having the right size allen wrench with me let's see if we can tighten this fender just with the Gerber. I think there's very likely to be a tool on here that will work for that one size smaller Allen wrench. This'll do for now. It'll probably stop wobbling so much. So Allen wrenches and a multi-tool, two things not to leave the house with. Better that you find something loose when you're not jumping off a curb than when you are. Now let's talk about tires. All tires are gonna go flat sooner or later. You're gonna run over something, you're gonna get a puncture, you're gonna blow the tube inside them, and they're gonna go flat on you. If your name happens to be Richie Rich, you can buy new tires, no big deal, right? And have them replaced. But if you're not Richie Rich, and you wanna kinda make do and get some use out of the tires you got, you have to be able to patch them. That brings me to one of the most important pieces of kit I think you can have if you have a high-end scooter and that's a product called slime so slime is a really cool product works amazingly well to fix tires what you do is very simple you find the puncture on the tire you remove the nail screw whatever it is right you then open your tube of slime well the first thing you need to do is rotate the tire so that the valve is up towards the top so let's do that let's rotate the tire so that the valve is near the top there she blows we take the cap off the valve we use the inside of the slime bottles cap as a tool to remove the valve stem out of the tires valve it's a little tricky make sure you don't screw it on too tight or you won't actually pull the stem out you'll just cap the tire but remove the valve stem insert the requisite amount of slime for a tire this size, the amount is four inches, or four ounces, I should say. We're then gonna put the tire valve stem back in, inflate the tire, get it back up to the correct pressure, cap it, spin the tire around as fast as you can, 50, 60, 80 turns, right? Make sure you've evenly distributed the slime inside the tire. Check the pressure again, and you should be good to go. The slime should seal your tire for two years that's definitely getting your use out of it. Do not store your scooter on a full charge. The most battery charge you should have to store it is about half. That is the safe level to store your battery at. So if you charge it up to full, wow. So if you charge it up to full, make sure you ride. Don't let it sit at full battery. You'll damage your battery. And over time, you'll get less and less mileage out of it that way. That's why laptop batteries never really last very long, right? Because we constantly keep them plugged in. We're constantly storing the battery at full charge. If you want your laptop battery to work better, 
let the battery discharge, then plug it back in, charge it up to full. Let it discharge back to full. The same way you would do with your phone, right? You don't keep your phone plugged in overnight, constantly keep it at full battery. No, it's bad for the battery. Same thing applies to your scooter. Wow. I don't know if you can see that far, but there is a beautiful buck over there. Big one, like four or five point rack on them. All right, so these simple tasks will keep your scooter rolling, will keep you on the road. As I said, I left the link below in the description to all the stuff and all the products we're talking about today. If you don't pick it up through my links, pick it up somewhere because it's going to save you from catastrophic failure and it's going to help you stay on the road longer, get more fun and enjoyment out of your scooter. Now, I got to get out of here. These bugs are killing me and it's time to ride. That deer is still sitting there staring at me. I wonder how close he'll let me get. I hope we can get close to him because I want you guys to be able to see him. I'm going to try approaching pretty slow. There he is. Nope. <laughs> he probably thought maybe I was another deer. Couldn't really tell by looking at me. But at the first sign of me getting a little bit closer, he was like, nope, I'm out. It's decision time, ladies and gentlemen. And this is a tricky decision. We'll have to make a choice if we're going left or right. And if we go left, there's a way to get home on much safer side roads, but it's a long ride. I think we have more than enough battery to do it. So that's definitely the way I lean. Or I could turn right and I could risk getting myself killed in a lot of really nasty traffic. I think we're going left, no doubt about it. Left is the way to go. Yeah, this is gonna be dicey and hair raising as hell until we get clear of this road. <laughs> you know he did that 100% on purpose. Trying to scare the bejesus out of me, and it would have worked too, except for the fact that I could hear him coming a mile away. See, this is the time when I wish I had, you know, the Cabo Wolf, and I could just be like, oh, you want to drive 55, do you? Well, let's do that. Check it out, whole herd of deer over there. I doubt you could see that, but they're there. When I think back to Basking Ridge's origins, you know, in the Revolutionary War and before that, this is what I think it looked a lot more like. You know, the apple orchard there. You can go apple picking there. In fact, before you know it, whoa! Son of a bitch. It's rubbing against the brake. That's not good. I mean, that ought to keep it out of trouble there, but. Nope. This is not the right size. This is Somerville Road. If we had taken a left back there, we'd go down into Bridgewater Township, basically go down the mountain. But here, we're gonna cut back across. This is I-287 below us. Whew, I was hauling ass across that bridge. <laughs> it's like, why, are the, why is the front tire coming off the ground? <laughs> Look at all these swells having dinner at Focaccia Very nice restaurant. The food sucks. 
the prices are Manhattan prices and the food tastes like, uh, I don't know, Newark or something. Oops, this is the wrong parking lot. I wonder if I can get through. Nope, they got a fence up, son of a gun. Now I have to try to get up that hill. <laughs> that which would have been impossible. And the segment, impossible, unthinkable, it was no problem. I think just for the sake of safety, you're gonna wanna dial the speed down a little bit to try to get through here. I'm not even sure I'm going to make it through here. <laughs> yeah, it's a little tighter than it was on the Segway. But not for nothing, I always felt like I have a lot better control over the Segway than over this thing. It's because it's got real narrow handlebars. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. Did you see the deer run through here? It's always a risk in this town that a goddamn deer is going to appear out of nowhere and collide with you. It's a risk on the scooter. It's a risk in the car. that was fun don't forget my maintenance tips make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time Peace.